Please take your seat. Welcome to the 2022 Master's Commencement Ceremony for the University of Southern California's Rossier School of Education. Our procession includes the Dean, Associate Deans, Faculty, Board of Counselors, and Special Guests, and this year's graduates of USC Rossier School. Please keep the aisles clear.
please welcome the Emory Stoops and Joyce King Stoops, Dean of the USC Rossier School of Education, Pedro A. Nagura. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> Please be seated. It is so wonderful to welcome our graduates to a live commencement. As well as their families and friends. Our first live event in two years after the pandemic's tumult. <clears throat> and uncertainty. <clears throat> I'm thrilled that we can be here together in person <clears throat> to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2022. On behalf of the faculty, staff, alumni, and friends of USC Rossier School of Education, I offer our heartiest congratulations. And to all the friends and family who have supported you on this journey to this day, we say thank you. I would like to acknowledge two of our special guests on the platform today. They are Board of Counselor members Alana Glassenberg, if you please stand, and Brent Noyes. Thank you for being with us today. I would also like to acknowledge a dear member of the Rossier family, Roger Rossier, who was not able to join us today, but it behooves us to all remember that it was his, it was through a, the generosity of Roger and his late wife, Barbara, that we became the Rossier School of Education. We will always be grateful for their support. We have three very special speakers who, and you'll hear more about them soon. Today we have before us 677 graduates of six master's programs. Among the hundreds who'll be walking across this stage shortly are graduates of our Master's of Arts in Urban Education Teaching, teaching English to speakers of other languages, and our World Masters in Language Teaching programs. Also beginning careers of impact are graduates from our Masters programs in Educational Counseling, <laughs> Enrollment Management and Policy, post-secondary administration and student affairs. School counseling. Marriage and family therapy. And learning design and technology. Each of our graduates represent the promise and potential of the American dream. Having written two books about the American dream, I know quite a bit about it. I also believe that in many ways, I epitomize that dream. Like many of our graduates, I was once a first-generation college student. Like many of you, I had to work my way through school. And like many of you, I had no safety net to fall back on. Though my family loved me, I had to rely on my own abilities and efforts to find a way forward. I know that today the dream has become even more elusive and out of reach than it was when I graduated. Yours is the first generation that is not as likely to live as well or to be as financially secure as that as your parents. That's sobering and perhaps even a bit discouraging. So then why would I refer to these graduates as our American dream? I base that pronouncement on the choices they've already made. They've chosen to enter a field where though financial rewards may not be great, 
there is the potential to sow the seeds for a better tomorrow. The graduates I see before me give me hope for the future because they believe in and understand the power of education. It is a power not rooted in military strength or the guarantee of financial wealth. Rather, it is a power that emanates from an understanding of human agency. What is agency? It is the innate human characteristic to create possibilities where none seem to exist. It is the power that arises from human ingenuity and the irrepressible ability of those who yearn for a better life to create it. I have seen agency alive in schools that were regarded as failing by policymakers, but not by the teachers and counselors who refuse to give up. I have seen it in community colleges that serve students struggling to make ends meet, who manage to expel, excel despite the odds against them. And I've seen it in these graduates who have chosen careers in education because they know it is the best means we have to create a more just and equitable future. They understand that at the core of so many of the problems we face in the world today lies an educational solution waiting to be born. The next inventor who will devise solutions to climate change the next scientist who will devise cures to fighting diseases, the next artist who will lift our spirits and inspire us, and the next educators who will challenge us to think differently and critically about the world we live in. You've chosen to enter a profession that will make it possible for you to play a role in challenging, supporting, and nurturing others on their educational journey. That is why I chose to become an educator and I know that is why so many of you had made a similar choice. You've chosen this career because you know that education is our best resource for a more just and equitable future. And because of the choices you have made, all of us have reason to feel hopeful about the future. So I am optimistic about the future. My optimism is based on my recognition of the extraordinary potential of the graduates assembled before us today. My hope and confidence in our future and in the American dream is being rejuvenated by them. I know the American dream has never been guaranteed. I know it is a promise that is made real by those who have the will, commitment, and gumption to work and aspire despite the odds, who refuse to give up even when confronted by great obstacles, and who reject defeatism, cynicism, and escapism. Today's celebration is also a reminder that we depend on the love and support of others to fulfill our dreams and realize our goals. Your network of family, friends, and mentors have been there for you as you work toward this day. And now your degree joins you to, to the one of the most mighty networks in the world, the Trojan family. Membership in this family means you have earned the right to call yourselves USC alumni. But this distinction also brings responsibilities. Now you will be the mentors for future graduates. I encourage you to embrace this role as a lifelong and worldwide commitment. We promise to continue to do the same through our own Rossio commitment. Together we will continue to advance educational equity for all. I'm now pleased to introduce our student speakers. First, I'd like to introduce Danielle Goh, who is graduating from PASA, the post-secondary administration and student affairs program. Danielle is a native of San Leandro, California, she is proud of her identity as a first-generation college student and the daughter of Chinese and Filipino immigrants. During the past two years, she has immersed herself in the life of the university, working as a graduate assistant in offices including campus activities, Asian Pacific American Student Services, and the Viterbi School of Women in Engineering Office. 
She has also lent her considerable energy and talent to enriching the Rossi community as a PASA student ambassador and president of the Rossi Student Association and the PASA Network Board. As her leader of these organizations, she has modeled Rossier's mission, always striving for inclusivity, but to maximize engagement, she's also injected fun whenever possible. Going forward, she is prepared to take on roles that will enable her to advance the goal of educational equity in higher education. Please welcome Danielle. Dean Noguera, thank you for your kind introduction, your exemplary leadership, and for your welcoming remarks that have truly set the tone for this special moment we are all sharing together. Growing up as a first-generation daughter of immigrants, many cultural norms made navigating my educational experience challenging. I didn't know how to voice my opinions, ask for help, or who I could turn to to advocate for me. I often would fly under the radar and struggle silently. Entering Rossier, the imposter syndrome continued and I was unsure if I was good enough to be here. However, the Rossier community told me otherwise. My experience here has provided me with the resources and opportunities that elevated my voice and helped me realize my capabilities as a leader. The diverse representation in faculty and staff leading groundbreaking initiatives and research around educational equity inspired me to take action and affirmed that this is where I belong. I hold so much gratitude for the amazing colleagues within the post-secondary administration and student affairs program that saw me heard me, and valued me. You all saw something in me that I wasn't aware of, and because of this, I am inspired to ensure that every student is seen for who they are and that they will always have someone that will advocate for them. I remember a time when working with a student, they told me, you really make us feel safe and cared for. I am at ease knowing that you'll be supporting us from now on. I knew at that moment, this is exactly where I am supposed to be. Every day at Rossier, I'm reminded of my why, why I am here, why, what my purpose is, and why I choose to work in education. Every single day, I choose to uplift and serve the needs of minoritized students advocate for equity, and work towards dismantling systems of oppression in education. <laughs> Within all these experiences, my greatest takeaway is to embrace your vulnerability, speak your truth, and honor your narrative. Our lived experiences have prepared us to be the change we want to see. Our hearts have the ability to connect, listen, and understand the needs of humanity. These are our greatest superpowers. To all my inspiring colleagues here today, always remember your why and what your purpose is. As we depart from Rossier, please take a moment to let this all sink in. And remember that you already are an incredible leader of equitable change within education. And we are so, so proud of you. Thank you everyone and fight on. Next, we will hear from Brendan Scott. <laughs> Brendan is from the Bay Area. <clears throat> he was raised by a single mom and excelled in both academics and athletics.
despite numerous challenges. During his, during his undergraduate years at Cal State <coughs> University Northridge, he competed in track and field, but also tutored fellow athletes in introductory and upper level math, chemistry, and biology. <coughs> he planned on a medical career and may pursue medicine again in the future, but he changed his focus when he decided he wanted to have a more immediate impact on his community by helping to fill an urgent need for more black teachers and mentors. <laughs> so Brendan switched his major to education. Now armed with his master's in teaching and a multiple subject credential, he plans to teach elementary students. He is also passionate about developing programs to empower black youth and assist families like his that are led by single mothers. Let's give Brendan a warm welcome. I first received word that I would be the commencement speaker, I saw it as an opportunity to address inequities within the field of education. I said to myself that I was going to come on this stage with a five-page speech backed by research and data, and I was going to ball it up and speak from my heart like they do in the movies. <laughs> then I said, Brendan, okay, stop being dramatic. For real, this is not the time nor the place for you to be theatrical. Use this as an opportunity to uplift your community. So I said, okay, for real, I'm just going to sleep on it. And hopefully the stars would align with the moon and then the sun would shine on me and that would be my sign to speak about something magical, right? So I attempted to dream. If you know me, you know I sleep for sports so I can sleep all day until that day where that dream never came. And that is when I realized that I had become so familiar with nightmares that I forgot what it was like to dream. Dreaming of a life where African Americans were liberated from a system of oppression. A dream where I was able to liberate the minds of our youth through education. I forgot what it was like to dream because generation after generation, African Americans continue to be the biggest marginalized group. From slavery to segregation to both blatant and institutionalized racism to even still an unlevel playing field. Often, the African American community is put in a box of criminalization, hypersexualization, miseducation, and pure laziness. And within these four walls, we are forced to choose to either follow the school to prison pipeline, showcase our athleticism, entertain or deviate from what society deems as normal and pursue higher education. I chose to be everything society said that I couldn't, and I stand on this stage as the first generation graduate with not only one, but now two degrees. <laughs> USC has made it possible for me to change this narrative within my community, to foster and mentor minorities that have experienced less than ideal circumstances, to liberate youth that carry the burden of their ancestors, to educate the minds of our children and provide opportunities that they were once denied, to turn what was only once a dream deferred like a raisin in the sun into a testimony. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, the power of life and death lies in the tongue, so I speak life and prosperity over everybody in attendance, <laughs> over our children and our children's children. I speak life and prosperity over future generations of graduates who must overcome obstacles and financial burdens to prove to society that they too belong. As future educators, we understand that educating is more than following a lesson plan. We understand that we are who we teach and with educating comes mentoring, comes guiding, comes transforming and molding children into future leaders in a society that refuses to welcome them with open arms. USC has made it possible for me to make an impact in the same place where it was once illegal for African Americans to learn how to read and write. But that pain that we have been feeling can't compare to the joy that has come and the joy that will outshine the burden that has kept us bound from generation to generation. This is joy. And USC has equipped us with the tools necessary to spread it. Dr. King once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl, but by all means, keep moving. So as we pass the torch to future generations, I encourage you all to keep running, keep moving, keep crawling, keep going, keep growing, keep healing, keep praying, and above all, above all, fight on.
And as I walk this stage today, may this degree not only represent me, but we. May this degree represent every little black boy who had to ask when daddy was coming home, who would sit and wait by the phone, whose birthday wishes were to stay alive, who became the man of the house at the age of five. May this degree break generational curses. And for my brother spitting verses, rhyming your way out the hood, may this degree bring you nothing but good. As I walk this stage today, I walk in place of those whose education was robbed from them due to police brutality. And as I speak against that reality, may this degree not only represent me, but we. May this degree allow you to finally rest in peace. And as I walk this stage today, I represent every little black boy who grew accustomed to hearing the word no, whose skin tone spoke before their voices arose. You are not a criminal. May this degree finally give you reason to smile. And for those who have been burdened a while, may this degree not only represent me, but we. May this degree encourage my unborn niece and nephew as a symbolic representation of the promise that God made you. You can do anything you put your minds to. Aria, Ezekiel, Jackson, Sanaya. May my being on this stage be the reason why you never stop chasing your dreams. May this degree not only represent me, but we. And as I walk this stage today, may this degree be the reason why this cage bird finally got to sing. Thank you. Thank you, Brendan. It is now my great pleasure <clears throat> to introduce one of the newest members of the USC Rossier family. Dr. Christopher Emden is an exceptional scholar, <clears throat> a teacher educator, who has enriched the national conversation about how to more effectively engage students in learning, especially in math and science. I am thrilled that Chris has joined the Rossier faculty as the Robert Naslin Chair in Curriculum and Theory. Chris has been breaking new ground, showing us how hip hop music and popular culture can be used to make public high school students excited about learning science. His books, including For White Folks Who Teach in the Hood and Ratchetemic Reimagining Academic Success, have expanded the ways in which we think about who can learn science and math and about the nature of creative genius in these critical fields. We are delighted to have him as a member of our faculty. Please join me in welcoming Chris Emden to the podium. Greetings, everyone. I want to begin by saying that it's with deep humility um, that I stand here as a member of this community. And it's with deep appreciation that I accepted the invitation to speak at your graduation. And the reason why I was excited to speak at your graduation is because graduations are special. If you just look around and see the smiling faces and the parents cheering, hear those brilliant words from our graduates, something about that just feels right. But beyond that reason, I'm excited to speak to you guys today because graduations give me the opportunity to test some really profound scientific and mathematical formulas that I've been working on for a number of years. You know, as a science and math educators, we get to fall in love with formulas, the elegant simplicity of them all. You know, F equals MA. The mass of an object multiplied by how much it accelerates can determine its force, like, isn't that fly or, right? E equals MC squared, right? Energy equals the mass of the speed of light squared. There's something about that that just speaks to you. And graduations help me to define what I call the divine formula. So let me tell you what that divine formula is. It is hard work plus grace plus tenacity plus love equals 
drastic and powerful possibilities. And so I've been at a number of graduations and I wanted to test my formula, so I asked the graduates, so did you graduate, did you, did you work hard? Then I'm like, did you get afforded some grace? Did somebody on this faculty say to you, you can hand that paper in next week and you were like, thank you. So we got the hard work, we got the grace. Now for some of y'all, there had to be some tenacity. There were these moments where you're like, the doors are closing, is this going to happen? She's looking at me like, that's me. And then you held on, and you believed, and then somebody afforded you some love. All those folks on either side that were cheering for you before you even walked in here poured something into you to make you have these radical new possibilities. So I think my formula is as eloquent and beautiful as E equals MC squared. But here's the thing. I could have used that formula to describe any graduation. If I was invited to speak in 2018, I could have shared that. 2015, I could have shared that. But you, graduates in 2022, were chosen for such a time as this. That phrase, chosen for such a time as this, pulls from many different backgrounds and religions and powerful narratives in our time. But one of the most essential ones is actually biblical. So I'm gonna take out a little story. There was this girl named Esther. Esther came from the same place you came from in many ways, was not supposed to be royalty. And Esther activated the divine formula. She put a little bit of hard work, got some grace, some tenacity and some love, and somehow she, I mean, found her way or graduated into royalty. So now Esther is sitting there royal. I can imagine Esther in black flowing robes, trimmed with crimson and gold, walking across that castle like, yes, I made it, as you should right now. But then at one point, as she reveled in the royalty, something happened. A man named Mordecai rolled up to the castle and said, Esther, you are royalty. You have graduated. You are wearing robes trimmed with crimson and gold. But you have a responsibility because the power structure has decided that we are going to annihilate a bunch of people who are outside of this castle. And then he said to her, Esther, you are royalty. You have graduated. But perhaps you were chosen for such a time as this. 2022, you who graduate in the midst of a global health crisis, you who are sitting here walking across the stage when there's an assault on women's bodies coming from the highest seats in the land, you when people are trying to ban books, you who are walking into the profession of education at the very same time that folks are trying to say that teachers should not speak truth about the histories of this nation to young folks, you. <laughs> chosen for such a time as this. And when you are chosen, you not only celebrate that you are royalty, but you have a responsibility. And that responsibility is immense. Because if you think about that pandemic, it was doom and gloom. Do y'all remember being home? And your classes were on Zoom? And you didn't know if you were ever gonna see these faces ever again? And it felt bad and sad, right? But do you also remember that during that pandemic when we were locked down at home, you looked outside at the skies and you never knew it could be so blue? Because folks weren't driving as much. And also at that time, during the pandemic, we saw animals walking in the streets, returning back to their rightful land, right? And we also got revealed that young folks got into college and they didn't need a whole assessment. Let me not. That life can happen 
in spite of the conditions. And so for you who are chosen for such a time as this, you must be the ones to help us to see the blue skies in the midst of the pandemic. Right now, everybody's rushing to get back to normal. You are going back to your work as a counselor, as a teacher, as a marriage therapist, out into the field, and they're saying, let's all go back. But we know we can't just go back, because in the midst of the pandemic that kept us home, the skies were bluer than ever before. So you must activate that power, that work, that grace, that commitment. And I'm gonna just riff a little bit. I'm not gonna take too long, but Brother Brandon got me open. You know, when he talked that MLK talk, remember Martin Luther King in his last speech said some profound words. He said, I have been to the mountaintop and then I see the promised land. How do you get to the mountaintop if not for hard work? How do you get to the point where you can see the new possibilities if you didn't have the grace and the love and the resilience? And at that mountaintop, he looked out and said, I see a promised land. We're in a society where they're trying to take away the promised land. Don't go back down the mountaintop. See the promised land. My last story is I recently took a trip to South Africa and I saw this beautiful piece of art. And as I looked at that piece of art, I said, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I want to find out who created this thing. It's so beautiful. I want to take it home. And somebody moved me and walked me over to the artist who designed it. And I said, what kind of materials did you use to create this masterpiece? And he said, Dr. Emden, I listened to the sounds of the winds and followed where the trash went. I said, what? <laughs> he said, I listened to where the trash went. And when I went to where the trash went, when the winds blew them away, I took all the things that people threw away and that's what I used to make this masterpiece. You are charged with hard work and tenacity. Yes? Grace and good fortune to go out, not just to anyone, but the places that they've told you not to go. The folks in the dredges and the margins. Why? Because you were chosen for such a time as this. The only person better than you is embedded in you. Graduates. You will emerge as the greatest like Ali. And probably, improperly, and awkwardly, they have you locked with mediocrity, but that prophecy is pure hypocrisy. You will resist, for you were chosen for such a time as this. Thank you. Graduates from the USC Rossier School of Education master's degree programs will now come forward. <laughs> okay. Please escort the candidates to the stage to be recognized. Annie Villanueva. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Education in Educational Counseling degree. Ari Gomez. Stacy Argueta. Antonio Huezo. Kian Malawia. Aiden Castillo. 
Stephanie Martinez. Christina Sanchez. Kimberly Gomez. Frida Zaldivar Yin. Julia Bingham. Gabriela Vallejo. Nancy Jimenez. Aiden Tirani. Belen Bazan Delgado. Eileen Huang. Sarah Huang. Kristen Nguyen. Huey Tammy Jong. Caroline Chung. Sarah Taylor. Vanessa Powell. Sophia Rahimi. Marlene Estrada. Erica Burgos. Tatiana Leguizamo. Lin Liu. Ming Yu Asan. Marah Margarosian. Emmanuel Menhibor. Emily Andrea Ballesteros. Guadalupe Torres. Andrea Garcia. Agustin Garcia Badillo. Roberto Cortez. Jennifer Ye. Yila Xia. John Mendoza. Gabriela Torres. Victoria Rosenberg. Gia Su. Madeline Flores. Christine Deshaun. Juan Maceo. The following graduates are receiving a Master of Education in Enrollment Management and Policy degree. Bobby Brown. Grace Lloyd. Jeanette Villanueva Padilla. Stephanie Ramirez. Maria Salgado. Gustavo Sanchez. Aaron Brazelton. Ellen Melconian. Aaron Slater. Alexandra Zagna. Crystal Day. Sharon Chikosman Lopez. Christina Scott. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Education in Learning Design and Technology degree.
Amarina Lynn Aspenwall Fredine. Matthew Craig Wilson. Sophia Michelle Dubaz. Haley Elizabeth Severs. Rebecca Ann Thomas. Courtney Wright. Bridget O'Donnell Fennell. Cassandra Benjamin Diagrella. Ariana Leila Diamalon de la Rosa. Mario Amir Lawson. Jeannie Chen. How long? Marika Insigni de Young. Ashley Monet Shorte. Eric Thomas Chow. Lisa Akemi Wu. Stephanie Danielle Kayla Khan. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Science in Marriage and Family Therapy degree. Analia Isabella Ray. Melinda Catherine Sherman Nestor. Gloria Lisette de la Mora. Erica Franklin. Camille Larkins. Jennifer Brooke Chandler. Leah Tatiana Stern. Stephanie Delgado. Rosemary Elizabeth Hansen. Elizabeth Burkett. Julia Ann Burt. Lindsay Devar. Drew Lauren Merman. Matthew Daniel Fenn. Amy Claire Henderson. Brooke Ashley Barker. Rachel Kathleen Compton. Mayan Derhe. Matthew Martin Herrera. Kiana Sadrosada. Luke Raymond. Ariana Elizabeth Montero. Gigi B. Woodall. Monica Estelle Chernoff. Mengchun Ali Zhou. Rachel Ann Hainto Alger. Julia Marie Verdugo. Hannah Burgess. Alina Kobian. Amy Rodriguez. Sarah Hernandez. Jane Dip. Abigail Rosanna Olivares. 
Kevin Tadeo Kahlo. Ashley Nicole Barnes. Jalen Elise Broadway. Malia Angelique Harris. Jared Trenier. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Arts in Teaching degree. Timothy Davis. David Menier. Joseph Arachiga. Bianca Bystrom Pino. Juliana Morales. Margaret Harbison. Carlin Kessel. Amy Alvarez. Amanda Del Core. Daisy Campos. Cynthia Leonor. Gloria Guzman. Christina Matthews. Brian Calderon. Taya Kirschenman. Elizabeth Jane Anderson. Ernest Avila. Victor Mendoza. Amezni Mandagi. Sinha Ayala. Myra Contreras. Elizabeth Sinta Cole. Jordan Hanna. Holly Baldwin. Derringer Dillingham. Lauren Merriweather. Dia Raven. Brendan Scott. Leilani Aguila. Andrea Iniguez Padilla. Sasha Herrera. Angela De Leon. Denise Molina. Constantina Corrales. Roxana LeMay. Hannah Croft. Nazareth Martinez. Madeline Fama. Alexma Chacosa. Denise Gonzalez. Heather Flynn. Caitlin Carter. Jackson Dowie. Bristol Dupre. Rigoberto Lopez. Shannon Murphy. Lan An Chu. Emily Faulkner. Victoria Kuhn. Kylie Beck. 
Kaya Jordain. Julia Lopez. Judith Leva. Shaquina Copeland. Janice Flower. Plinio Viatoro. Talene Gazalian. Lynette Menoscon. Arlene Aranda. Tiffany Souls. Iola Favell. Alexandra Calzaretta. Carissa Dominguez. Raymond Wizar. Matthew Benamellis. Angela Estrada. Valerie Garcia. Tara Badri. Stephanie Wabi. Kristen Lee. Lizette Morales. Angela Liu. Erica Esparza Ford. Chloe Heckmat. Danielle Gutierrez. Christy Ng. Cindy Liu. Kimberly Gonzalez. Sarah Johnson. Suma Maroki. Andrea Clemmer. Alexis Rodriguez. Jacqueline Huang. Rayan Islam. Cynthia Lara Ramirez. Arpina Shagbabian. Kennedy Lamb. Marcus Johnson. Gerardo Flores. Thomas Adami. Pele La France. Amanda Barger. Eva Gens. Christina Morris. Jocelyn Fierros. Ashley Mersaz. Rachel Park. Christine Kim. Nancy Alvarado. Angelina Brand. Jacqueline Hutchison. Irene Chung. Chelsea Park. Vail Fujikawa. Eileen Yuko Kumagai Tsang. Elizabeth Castillo. 
Wing Tan Huang. Savannah Patino. Caitlin Reeves. Caitlin Gutierrez. Michaela Kotlenski. Marlene Ardiano. Carlos Calderon. Mariana Sid. Elijah Chesley. Layla Santizo. Brian Yu. Kenji Kurose. Jacob Christensen. Belinda Carranza. Alejandra Ponce. Haley Graham. Jasmine Gonzalez. Minor Hernandez. Erica Sosa. Maria Landa Lopez. Kimberly Glocks. Laura Cervantes. Grace Jung. Rachel Chung. Nancy Pham. Denise Daniel. Dan Milstein. Megan McPhee. Rose Fagens. Laura Garcia. Isabella Bache. Lauren Estella. Carla de la Cruz. Arpen Gadayan. Matthew Novelich. Rute Mikaleva Chute. Shannon Linder. Jennifer Lee. Grace Seha. Xiao Yu Wong. Alejandra Castillo. Isaac Hernandez Arevalo. Brooke Struzma. Hannah Franz Myers. Nicholas Feinberg. Maya De La Torre. Tao Nguyen. Fatima Navarrete. Brianne Kim. Michelle Nguyen. Rebecca Arake. Olivia Rodriguez. Samara Reed. James La Forteza. Carlos Cáceres.
Gladys Sandoval. Carly List. Madeline Asadorian. Shayla Malaulu. Jocelyn Fong. Alejandra Jimenez. Michael Cantone. Chris Lee. Maggie Fay. Jade Dana. Radha Kanikal. Adelina Marzu. Shanae Barber. Brianna Lagunas. Jamie J. Roman Nunez. Nancy Rebecca Abahash. Christopher Keim. Kenneth Chambers. Morgan Clement. Sydney Dow. Taylor Borkas. Anna Amaya. Elizabeth Bianchini. Maya Evans. Crystal Anderson. Cameron Idema. Sung Hyung Lee. Anna Hooker. Matthew Marks. Jason Chayet. Rosie Melendez. Priscilla Gonzalez Mesa. Kimberly Lopez. Madeline Lentz. Melanie Fonseca Navarrete. Alexis Carvajal. Luz Hernandez. Violeta Garcia Yok. Lorena Alvarez. Joanne Chian. Xiomara De La O Hernandez. LaShawn Roberts. Rachel Chang. Dorcas Wee. Yumeji Vigo. Ramiro Alexander Duchamp. Amy Lee. Katrina Garcia Gomez. Lindsay Robles Whitehead. Zaida Bravo. Joni Ayala. Catherine Oriana. Faith Terry. Aaron McCoy. Maya Venkataraman. Destiny Thomas. Sufe Wong. Mark Wasson. Stevie Ward. Michelle Smith. Reagan Penwell. Robert Statler. Yeah. 
Andrea Rivera. Lock Yu Wong. Amanda Ruiz. Adilene Teo. Taylor Suarez. Anissa Timon. Brianna Nava. Jasmine Rivera. Alondra Sanchez. Vanessa Sordo. Caitlin Wibbles. Shayla Simon. Mary Ellen Lindemuth Werner. Sana Khalid. Guadalupe Mendoza. Sarah Tobo. Anna Timmons. Carly Williams. Erica Troncoso. Samantha Randall. Amy White. Allah Shahade. Manpreet Singh. Alejandra Orozco. Laura Elizabeth Valverde. Allison Salgado Ruiz. Brenda Camilla Rosales Rivas. Irene Park. Caroline Sharp. Christian O. Serena Brown. Patsy Perez Andres. <laughs> Sophia Sinclair. <laughs> Meredith Vogel. Kristen Overman. Andrew Wilson. Cynthia Richards. Alejandra Mary Perez Sanchez. Anna Torres. Brianna Rivera. Lee Ann Wynn. Andrea Schartz. Precious Nash. Rachel Wilson. Diana Ocampo. Sean Rodriguez. Lorraine Rodriguez. Isabella Riddle. Jocelyn Wu. Alyssa Portillo. Kelly Steele. Christopher Rangel. Savannah Stefanian. Jordan Perron. Emily Sargent. Thomas Woods. Jonathan Vialta. Patricia Sarzinski. Joanna Zada. 
The following graduates are receiving the Master of Arts in Teaching, Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages degree. Clarissa Miranda. Josie Jacqueline Durfee. Joshua June Park. Eileen Lee Gov. Jane Denson. Nicole Christine Thorfinson. Matthew White. Viviana Torres. Zian Wong. Emine Sargisian. Brian Sai. Paula Marie McGlone. Caroline Park. Kristen Nishimura. Amanda Orion. Adriana Van Wontergam. Sarah Viramontes. Amanda Philbin. Matthew Green. Jonathan Baena. Ali Sidley. Sarin Shatikian. Jeffrey Hayes. Manan Parikh. Masai Yamanaka. Brianna Meeks. Amy Zimmerman. Lizette Toro. Ashlyn Reyes. Adriana Roy. Annabella Reyes. Ruth Park. Jesus Ortiz. Vanessa Oriana. Charles Taylor. Ariel Sherman. Nicole Wynn. Desiree Rivera. Madison Wiesner. Kathy Lisaola. Jillian Olivas. Marcus Santos. Matthew Reyes. Michael Ozaki. Victoria Wang. Elise Tran. Ran Tai. Guanayi Chan. Cyan Serena Harriet Thomas. Chu Hu. Fei Tong Zhao. Ting Xuan Xu. Yi Meng Wang. Hanan Wang. Yi Xuan Ji. Shuo Tsui. Cheng Cheng Zhang. 
Zhao Tong Liu. Bridget Lynn McBride. Chu Feng Wei. Jing Ye. Jackie Su. Xu Tiong Zhang. Moon Yun Yi. Yue Cha. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Arts in Teaching, teaching English to speakers of other languages, World Masters in Language Teaching degree. Maria Guadalupe Herrera. Digne Shahid Chibras Ramos. Martha Yolanda Duran Martinez. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Arts in Urban Education degree. Maritza Serpas. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Education in Post-Secondary Administration and Student Affairs degree. Jennifer Chan. Liana Morin. Melissa Valdovino. Patrick Dowd. Noelle Zarati. Fontana Frazier. Jacqueline Acosta. Kristen Robio. Yesimar Gayaga. Nat Duran. Francesca Pizzali. Madison Lamb. Danelle Go. Jennifer Howard. Aranza Guzman. Kaylee Howard. John V. Chandra. Drutika Patel. Tiffany Castro. Jessica Yu. Brandon Lim. Timothy Lamb. Corey Smith. Gregory Tyro. Anna Jacqueline Lopez. Melanie Escobar. Jessica Perez. Liana Jaime. Carla Hashley. Laura Fikasny. Cassandra Carino. Kelsey Smith. Abaduaini Shenmusia. Alona Jackson. Justine Hastings. Rachel Freeman Cohen. Mikhail Candelaria. Samantha Lava. Madison Lang. Brittany Lantry. Charis Thompson. Brandon Garcia. Jacob Bornett. Gina Epperson.
Elizabeth Benuelos Castro. Yesenia Nava. Deanna Santoyo. Nancy Nava. Flor Guerrero. Joyce He A No. Sola Sally Chun. Carla Rodriguez Sander. Brian Salazar Pasmina. Brianna Maroki. Juan Bello. Sabrina Oriana. Hannah Mitchell. Zainab Nicholas. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Education in School Counseling degree. Jennifer Corey. Jesus Munoz. Melissa Coda. Marlene Torres. Denise Aguillon. Angel Hernandez. Jasmine Gomez. Jenny Rodriguez. Heidi Chala. Brenda Zuniga Tavares. Jacqueline Robles. Alejandra Rodriguez. Elena Guzman. Kayla Uniak. Eva Zis Patton. Diana Varas Martinez. Cindy Cobb. Martha Hernandez. Jennifer Castro Lopez. Veronica Cruz. Karina Baez. Ivania Fletcher. Karina Rodriguez. Ansley Sabio. Darlene Ortiz. Veronica Murillo. Tyler Vincent. Matravel Brown. Andrea Garcia. Robert Kearns. Jin Yu Lu. Jinju O. Oh. Michael Koch. Melinda Barajas. Lucy Rodriguez. Jaime Ramos. Stephen Duarte. Dominic Usan. Brianna Ortiz. Hannah Nelson. Serena Flores. Vanessa Albaran. Alana Elliott. Vanessa Vasquez. 
Carol Pack. Amy Tao. Mary Eileen Young. Claire Vensel. Stephen Jones. Blair Woofer. Brittany Montgomery. Erica Easley. Lisa Hubble. Christina Madure. Riza Gimatau. Rojendel Martin. Rosa Alva Garcia. Darlin Ortiz. Jessica Navarro. Isabel Caretti. Jenna Schwartz. Ashley Angel. Paulina Hernandez. Regula Schubiger. Rebecca Whitesell. Alicia Collins. Alexis Thompson. Cambria Clark. Jordan Godinez. Young Kim, Cindy Kim, Andrea Adams, Jessica Lazaro, Kristen Giordano, Tate Castro, Elizabeth Scholes. Jesse Velasquez. Jose Gonzalez. Anna Mungia. Nora Yan. Cynthia Gomez. Kayla Serrano. Nicole Hernandez. Rachel Burkett. Erica S. Samoto. Andrea Ramirez. Cynthia Johnson. Veronica Maroney. Crystal Dickerson. Courtney Sagoon. Nikki Rosas. Jessica Nunez. Nubia Pibaron. Katerina Maciel. Julie Gomez. William Lawson. Julia Marie. Elizabeth Ochoa. Andrew Clemente. Michael Fleming. Kimberly Lugo. 
Jennifer Gutierrez. Charlie Aquino. Ashley Camarina. Alyssa Mitchell. Roseanne Iwahashi. Khan Lee. Rosella Zapata. Paulina Hernandez. Ryan Gutierrez. Joe Shane Yamauchi. Alyssa Chadwick. Gabrielle Lopez. Fabian Dixon. Again, <clears throat> congratulations to each of you. <clears throat> there are two important groups here today <clears throat> that have been integral to your success. First, join me in acknowledging your extraordinary roster of faculty. I want the graduates to stand and join in thanking all your families and supporters. <laughs> Finally, no school could function and certainly no complicated commencement ceremony could be accomplished without the work of our dedicated staff. When we call for volunteers to serve in various roles at this ceremony, they step forward to ensure that this event would be a success. So with the, the staff of the Rossier School, please stand and be acknowledged. They're resting now. And congratulations once again to all of our graduates. I welcome you now to join us for reception in their honor beyond the far corner of the quad on Party Way Lawn. Thank you, USC School of Education, Class of 2022. We salute you. Fight on! <laughs> 